Now, Sanjeev Kapoor is an Indian celebrity chef, entrepreneur, writer and television personality who also happens to have a fulfilling relationship with the UAE. So it's not surprising that when he does visit the country, not only does he garner an extreme amount of attention from the Indian community, which currently comprises just over 42% of the expatriate population in the UAE, but also with anyone who shares his love for food. He is the most celebrated face of Indian cuisine. He has 73 restaurants in 47 countries, in addition to starring in one of Asia's most popular TV shows and having launched his own food channel in 2011. Sanjeev Kapoor's success has obviously reached far beyond the kitchen itself, although that is where it all started. So how did his celebrated and lucrative career begin? And how was he able to achieve such success in what is a cutthroat industry? I started uh, very early. I, uh, as a child, I didn't know uh, who a chef was. Never been to big hotels, big restaurants, uh, so didn't even know who a chef was. So to say that I knew that I would become a chef right uh, from my child, no, no I, that's not true. But uh, I was very focused and clear that I wanted to do something which was different. And when I say different, um, it had to be different from what anybody in our family was doing, relatives, friends, and neighbors. So it had to be something different and creative. So um, I looked at uh, being an architect for some time and uh, then came along this uh, cooking. I said, okay, this is different and uh, just uh, did some professional training, uh, worked in uh, uh, different parts of the world and uh, got uh, early successes, uh, reached my uh, professional peak. Uh, uh, when I say that, at 27, 28, I was uh, mm, declared the best uh, chef in India. Uh, so, uh, th that was uh, pretty fast at that time, back then. Uh, so, I had to think, uh, now what? Am I going to stay uh, at this position all my life? Uh, or would I do something new? So, I, I started to uh, look around, started to think that uh, I have to do many more things. Uh, if, if, you, if you know what uh, you are doing and you put, a, uh, put your heart to it, put systems around it, build a great team, then it's a piece of cake. So how do you go about creating your recipes which are enjoyed by families across the region? You obviously take inspiration from traditional Indian cuisine, but how have you been able to innovate these cooking methods and ingredients to stay atop the industry while still being true to the cuisine's origins? So I think it's um, uh, if you know the uh, art of cooking uh, and you know the science of uh, cooking and you understand the consumer, uh, your uh, uh, people who will consume what you do, then marrying all these things, uh, it's, it's not very complex, it's uh, uh, pretty simple. Uh, so uh, when we are cooking something it's, or creating something, it's, uh, it's science, art and mathematics because uh, you, there are variables and you uh, do different permutations and uh, combinations keeping uh, in uh, your mind that you understand what ingredients are and they're predictable. It's not that uh, they behave in any different way. So I understand what do I want. I want to stay true to uh, roots, yet I want to uh, create. So I would uh, work in a way that uh, uh, I would use uh, information, I would use uh, my knowledge, experience, memories, what I've been brought up with, what I've seen across the world and uh, then process that information and come up uh, with something which I get excited with and then I know that, oh, this is what uh, people want. How, in your opinion, has the general food scene changed since you started out in the industry? People think that it changes very fast. It doesn't. It, it's a very slow uh, process. Taste is probably one of the last things that uh, change. What we uh, grow up uh, with, there's a set pattern uh, as we age, there's a set uh, pattern. What we like, what we continue to like, what we start to like uh, more, uh, it, it, it's, it's something which is uh, again uh, known. Uh, and uh, it, it's not something uh, which changes uh, in dramatic way over uh, uh, period of time. So, the changes, so whatever changes that we uh, see, uh, the talk is more. Uh, 
uh, that this has changed, now this is in. But actually consumption wise, if you uh, put that in perspective, it does not uh, uh, really uh, change that much. Migration of taste has happened in a more, uh, it, it, that journey has uh, become faster. So uh, now it is uh, okay to eat uh, a Peruvian dish in UAE. It is not uncommon to know about Emirati food in uh, America. May not be uh, popular, but at least people know. But before uh, uh, the uh, war in Gulf, Americans didn't even know where Dubai was. I would travel and say, oh, you have a restaurant in Dubai, where is this? That has changed. Welcome back. Now, the UAE has grown dramatically over the years as a prime first-class tourist destination, with both Dubai and Abu Dhabi boasting some of the world's top and most luxurious five-star restaurants and hotels. Sanjeev Kapoor seems to have a special bond with the country, having opened a handful of restaurants here. So what keeps him coming back to the UAE? And what's his opinion on how the hospitality industry presents itself when compared to other regions internationally? First restaurant, first ever restaurant that I opened was in Dubai. And that was way back in 18, 19 years ago. And at that time also, uh, when we were opening, we said, why Dubai? There are so many Indian restaurants. Why would you open in Dubai? I said, nah, there's, there's big market and there's a room. And I continue to say that. In, in all these years, has that changed? No, actually it hasn't changed. The, uh, what has happened is the, the whole market has become uh, such an eclectic market for, uh, from eating out uh, uh, perspective. Uh, so uh, that's fantastic uh, for this market. Not, not many uh, cities in the world can present themselves like the way uh, Dubai uh, uh, can. So um, it's, it's uh, good to be present uh, in a market and have uh, presence with significance when uh, the growth in the market uh, is there and it's, it's at different price points and that, that's what uh, uh, we do and uh, good thing is that uh, this market uh, uh, the uh, South Asian uh, South Asians they like uh, our food they understand uh, uh, what I do they know me uh, people who are um, uh, who are locals here, they again understand uh, Indian uh, taste, they, they like uh, that. And again, they, they also know me through my uh, all shows and uh, everything. So, and uh, it's easy for us to execute. It, it, whether from Mumbai I go to Delhi or come to Dubai, it, it's uh, the same thing. The travel time is uh, literally the same. Uh, it, it's easy. Uh, to execute and uh, we have uh, continued to uh, do well in this market so why would why wouldn't we now one of the latest restaurants that you're launching here in the uae is the yellow chili which is inspired by emirati flavors can you tell us a little bit more about this project and what the community can expect to see and taste from you in the future sure so uh, so yellow chili as uh, as a brand when you first open uh, we had already opened uh, Khazana in uh, Dubai and uh, when we opened uh, the, the location that we had, uh, it was not as plush. Uh, so I said, you know what, I don't want to call this as Khazana because positioning is different, it is more casual, it's more... Uh, so we named that restaurant uh, Yellow Chili and we realized that uh, that resonated uh, really well uh, in that uh, market. So we wanted that to be uh, a, a casual Indian uh, neighborhood restaurant uh, and we then uh, saw that that worked uh, uh, really well so as as part of our offering uh, no matter where we are wherever uh, whether in india or uh, uh, outside india uh, i i felt that uh, we have to say st uh, stay true to what we believe in but i think it's always a good tribute to showcase what is local and if there is a way of uh, uh, doing something where we can uh, marry it uh, in a smart way, we would do that. Mm. So our core uh, remains the same, but the embellishments uh, keep on uh, changing. For example, uh, 
uh, there's a uh, sweet which uh, we have, uh, uh, a gulab jamun uh, that we have. We would uh, do it uh, with uh, candied rose, we will stuff it with candied uh, uh, rose. But here we are doing it with candied uh, rose and a date uh, mix and the, the uh, sweetness uh, uh, is, is normally uh, uh, just uh, a sugar uh, syrup but we, uh, we have worked on it and uh, we are combining that with uh, uh, some Arabic uh, coffee kind of a syrup that uh, we have uh, created. So traditional Indian dish, little bit of uh, flavour of this place. Yeah. To, to, so th these are kind of uh, things which then we continue to do. It's not that we, we stop. So we, we like to have uh, fun, but, but not so much that we lose uh, who we are. That brings us to the end of our program. If you'd like to know more about any of the stories you have seen tonight, you can contact us at UAE Weekly at city7tv.com or by calling us on 04367 2230. From myself and the entire team, have a great week ahead.